Thank you for joining us on Health Matters. I'm Dr. Mark Castellall. Our program today is about heart disease and we just had a patient on that discussed about having a bypass. Well, there are other procedures that can be done by, by heart doctors and cardiologists uh, that can restore blood flow to your heart and prevent you from having a heart attack. My next guest went through one of these procedures, Mr. James Irwin. Jim, nice to have you. Thank you, sir. Good to be with you. All right, Jim, tell me about the uh, symptoms you were having the day that you came into the office. Well, uh, I've always, well, for most of my life, adult life, I've been active running or walking. I used to run seven miles a day, and until recently I had to walk, and I have got up to four miles a day in about an hour. I did that regularly, four or five days a week. Then one day, without any notice, I started to run, and within five minutes I had to stop. I was having some discomfort in my, my left arm. I was having um, a, uh, a pain in, uh, not, well not a pain, but just some discomfort in my mm -hmm. chest. And it uh, seemed like that I was just trying to, to burp all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I went back to the car and went home. I uh, tried walking the next day. Same thing happened. So did you think something might be wrong with those well, symptoms? Well, I did. I knew something was. Uh, and like you say, most men, you know, have a stubborn streak in them. Right. But uh, uh, on the third, the third time that it happened, I told Rose, my wife, what was going on. And then she said, you need to go see Dr. Castellaw. So after about another week of that, I... So, uh, wait a minute, I, I, your wife told you to go, but then another week passed. passed. Okay, I just don't uh, want to get that straight. So, <laughs> uh, I did come to see you, as you, as you know, and um, after just a few minutes in uh, your office there, you knew what was wrong, as I uh, told you the symptoms, and then um, you scheduled uh, a doctor to do a heart cath. That was done at uh, uh, Baptist East, he found that I had a artery. One of my arteries was 99% blockage, and uh, he put uh, a stent in. That was about three weeks ago, just a week before Christmas, really, and um, I'm doing fine now. I feel well. Oh, great. He's allowed me to start back uh, my walking on a treadmill, which uh, I started this Monday. Just not quite as... Uh, active as it once was but uh you're gonna get I, there i have no you know no more symptoms pain or, angina or symptoms in any way well if you can look on the screen you can see a picture of uh, mr Irwin's coronary arteries this is a picture from his heart cath and you can see midway one of the arteries is not receiving proper blood flow and in the second picture, you can see that same area now is wide open because the stent had been placed and the blood flow restored to that artery. Again, Mr. Irwin is a great example of having single vessel coronary disease that you don't have to have a bypass for. Now, when you went in and had the heart cath, you had the stent put in, uh, how long were you in the hospital? Well, I stayed overnight um, and um, went home you know, the next morning. And then pretty much resume normal activity after that? Uh, within the next day. Uh, I was not, I was restricted for lifting anything for a few days, but other than that, um, no, no problems whatsoever. Well, again, uh, the, we keep driving this home again and again, how important it is to get in and see your doctor when you start having any kind of atypical symptoms, and they may not be coronary disease. There could be a lot of other things, but like in Mr. Irwin's uh, uh, case, uh, that 99% blockage was about to be a 100% blockage, and he would have had a heart attack. And because of his wife, God bless her soul, uh, getting him into the doctor, he was able to get this taken care of, and now his heart is as good as new. But thank you so much for being with us, and, and what do you need to tell our audience about their symptoms? Well, thank you, uh, Dr. Castello. I think that it's so vital to, you know, I've heard all my life, you need to listen to what your body is saying. 
and uh, I failed to do that. Um, and I do not know more than my doctor. Uh, and uh, I would just encourage anybody that has any kind of symptoms like that, check it out. If it's nothing, okay. But in my case, uh, I was uh, an accident about uh, to happen, seriously, according to what the doctor told me. Well, thank you. This is Dr. Mark Castellaw with Health Matters. Mm -hmm.